Good evening. Today's Bible study comes from Luke chapter 7, verses 1 through 10, and it reads as follows. When Jesus had finished saying all this to the people who were listening, he entered Capernaum. There a centurion servant whom his master valued highly was sick and about to die. The centurion heard of Jesus and sent some elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and heal his servant. When they came to Jesus, they pleaded earnestly with him. This man deserves to have you do this because he loves our nation and has built our synagogue. So Jesus went with them. He was not far from the house when the centurion sent friends to say to him, Lord, don't trouble yourself, for I do not deserve to have you come under my roof. That is why I did not even consider myself worthy to come to you. But say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority with soldiers under me. I tell this one go and he goes and that one come and he comes i say to my servant do this and he does it when jesus heard this he was amazed at him and turning to the crowd following him he said i tell you i have not found such great faith even in israel then the man who had been sent returned to the house and found the servant well well we know jesus had just got done talking to them about the faith that they needed and hearing his word and doing his word and the ones that didn't do it, how things would be for their house because they would have no foundation and those who believed and did had a foundation. So after he had finished saying all this to the people that were listening to him, he entered Capernaum. And there a centurion's servant whom his master valued highly so there's a few things that talk about right there, who his master valued highly, was sick and about to die. First of all, you can see that the centurion was concerned about another. And we should say a brother or a sister. But it says there, a centurion servant whom his master valued highly. So this centurion hailed this person in high regards, even though... This person was a servant. And there was a problem with the servant because the servant was sick and about to die. And the centurion, in his mind, couldn't do anything about it. He knew he couldn't do anything about it. And from the sounds of it, he didn't want his valued friend to die. And I would say friend, brother, sister, because to reach out for a servant in this time had to be a big thing. So the centurion heard of Jesus, and he sent some elders of the Jews to him. Now remember, the centurion is a Roman. He is a Gentile. And he sent some elders of the Jews to him. So he must have knowledge of Jesus Christ. And he must have had faith. He couldn't have been without faith. And it's, it's telling you his steps, his progression to how... His faith is coming to be because it tells you the centurion heard of Jesus, so he heard of him. And he must have believed, so he sent his elders of the Jews. First, he sent the elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and heal the servant, his friend. And it doesn't tell you if the servant is Gentile or Jew. It just says he was asking for somebody else. He, this man deserves to have you do this, the Jews had told Jesus. When they came to Jesus, they pleaded earnestly with them. This man deserves to have you do this because he loves our nation and has built our synagogue. They're talking about the centurion. They're talking about the centurion. So Jesus went with them. He was not far from the house when the centurion sent friends to say to him, Lord, don't trouble yourself, for I do not deserve to have you come under my roof. Now, this centurion is being humbled. And this is a man of authority and power. And he's humbling himself because he was not far from the house when the centurion sent friends to say to him, Lord, don't trouble yourself, for I, he's talking about himself, do not deserve, he's telling you, I don't deserve to have you come under my roof. 
So he really must have known who Jesus was and he must have put Jesus up there where Jesus should be in our lives. And his faith must have been strong to know that he wasn't worthy of this. To admit that you aren't worthy starts you off. And he admitted that he wasn't worthy to have Jesus under his roof. That is why I did not even consider myself worthy to come to you. He sent his friends to say, I can't even go to you, Lord, because I don't even consider myself worthy enough to come to you. Not only don't you need to be under my roof, roof because I'm not worthy enough, but I don't consider myself worthy enough to even come speak to you. But his faith was so strong and he told his servants to say, but say the word, just say it. Lord, I know how powerful you are. I know how great you are. I know what you have been doing. I know that with faith, all things are possible. So just say the word and my servant will be healed. And this whole time, he never asked for anything for himself. Matter of fact, he told the Lord all his transgressions, but continued to care for his servant. That is why I did not even consider myself worthy to come to you, but say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself, I am a man under authority. He has bosses, but he has soldiers under him. And and when he says under authority, he's top and bottom. He has people above him and he has people below him. I tell this one go and he goes. And that one come and he comes. I say to my servant, do this and he does it. But he must have been a good master. He must have been a good man to extend himself out this much as a Gentile. To reach out to Jesus and ask him for this help because what he had known and heard of Jesus. His faith must have been strong to say, Lord, here I am. And you do what you do and it'll happen. I am not worthy, Lord. I have done nothing. My house is not worthy. My speech is not worthy. But I am in the midst for somebody else, Lord, and all you need to say is your word, and they will be healed. And when Jesus heard this, it amazed him. This was a sacrifice. This was a sacrifice of self to the Lord in honor of someone else to be healed by the Lord. He was amazed at him and turning to the crowd following, he said, Jesus said this to the crowd that was following him. I tell you, I have not found such great faith even in Israel, even in Israel. Then the men who had been sent returned to the house and the servant was well. That faith that faith, when he tells you all you got to do is believe. You don't think that centurion believed? You don't think his faith was all that? When Jesus said, I tell you, I have not found such great faith even in Israel. We got to have some faith, y'all. We have to believe. I know this world is telling us not to believe, but I'm telling you. I'm begging and praying for you and myself. To know that he is coming back. He did die on the cross for our sins. And he continues to petition for us daily. Don't let this world give you a snowball that's going to melt in hell. Amen.